guys, welcome back to Ivan TV. I am your host Diana Modoni as always. Na jomeniona sana and we've done a lot of interviews and today we have one of the best greatest architect here in Kenya with well described and buildings that you you will love. Please stay tuned and continue subscribing, tell a friend to tell a friend and we'll be able to enjoy this conversation and you'll have one of the best time with us so karibu sana thank you thank you um we'd like to know who is victor ndongo uh, thank you diana my name is victor ndongo mungai okay i work at ridadi designers and contractors at ridadi designers and contractors we design and build houses so that's who victor ndongo is wow so yeah. you design yes and build buildings yes yes um you have done one of the best buildings ever in kenya yes and you're still doing more st since your creativity is still uh, enlarging and all that yes. can you just tell us what motivated you to do construction and design uh, that's a good question yeah. one of the things that motivated me to do construction and design is that uh uh, I come from a family whereby I've been raised in, uh, my parents were in the construction and they're still in construction. Okay. Even my uncles and most of our relatives are in construction. So it's like you hear, I hear there are family businesses. Yeah. Um, there, is a, there is a line that families take. So in our family, our specified line is in construction. Yeah. So that is one of the things that motivated me. The other thing that motivated me is uh, my desire to see nice buildings, I like to see smart buildings, great buildings. And I like to see buildings, I don't like seeing buildings that are boring buildings. Yeah. I like seeing nice buildings, smart buildings and buildings that just look nice. So I wanted to help solve that problem and uh, come up with nice structures and nice buildings. Wow, and we've seen that you've done a great job. Thank you. You're thank you. actually the youngest. Uh, one of the youngest. One of the youngest. Yeah, sure. But still you're the best. <laughs> Since you. everybody has their own perception of being the best mm -hmm. and the designs that they do. Mm -hmm. We've seen your work and we just want you to like mention the buildings that lifted you up. Mm -hmm. That one building mm -hmm. that you constructed and designed and you said that, hey, this is, this is really what I wanted. Mm, I can't say there is a building that, have, uh, that raised me up. Yeah. I'll say there are couple of structures that have helped me you see, you see as you continue to grow yeah. you continue to do a couple of projects that bring in traffic yeah. and that bring you bring in clients so as you do a building another one comes a, a client comes and then as you do that one, another cl client comes so there are quite many there are quite few there are quite many buildings that have brought us uh, conversions that have brought us engagements yeah so there are quite many yeah, you can oh, mention, you can one. mention yeah, one yeah okay it's okay yeah, i understand yeah. mm. and uh, your journey how was it like to just be here and constructing all those buildings that are loved by many mm -hmm. and so many con so many people come to you they want such a construction mm -hmm. how has the journey been the challenges the achievement mm -hmm. and everything that you always wanted to tell people mm -hmm to stick to this and stick to your passion because it's all about the passion. Mm. Yeah. So the journey has not been uh, that easy. Yeah. It's, uh, it has taken time, it has taken a lot of uh, commitment and dedication. Uh, it has taken a lot of uh, sacrifices, transnighting at schools, transnighting working for clients. Sometimes we've gone for practical, sometimes been on sites, being on sites and out, out late nights and it's not been easy, but by the grace of God, we are moving on well. Yeah, yeah. okay. We're talking about uh, the growth, mm -hmm. the development, everything that you have achieved mm -hmm. so far since you finished your school and the construction you're doing. Mm -hmm. But we've not talked about the journey, mm -hmm. the, the studies, mm -hmm. the late nights, mm -hmm. the creativity, and you're, you're still feeling that I'm not yet there. Mm -hmm. Because there is someone who is still doing that, mm -hmm. that course, but they, they gave up yeah. because they saw that, hey, this is not my passion. Mm -hmm. So what motivated you to finish school and right now you're the best? Uh, I'll say uh, my desire to, my desire of success, my passion of success. Yeah. Although it's quite a long journey, when I finished uh, high school, my parents did not have school fees for me to go to campus. Yeah. So I had to first of all hustle on construction sites. I used to find a Vibarua Vibarua for construction here and there. And then when I went to school, I had to be motivated. I had to be on track. I had to 
keep on the fire moving because I mean the wheel moving because one uh, I had not come from a good background so I had to, I had goals and dreams I had to achieve yeah. so it has not been easy but by the grace of God I'm proceeding and proceeding Wow. Yeah. So your parents still pushed you and they were standing with you. Yeah. So did, can you say that you helped them to educate you mm. or you educated yourself? Uh, we helped each other. Oh, you helped each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. nice. Because yeah. there's someone out there, mm. they gave up on their career because mm. their parents could not educate them. Mm -hmm. Maybe they, they even just started something else, mm -hmm. other careers, mm -hmm. because they saw, I, I cannot do this. Mm -hmm. So hearing from you that your parents supported you and you helped them out, mm -hmm. is so inspiring to someone out there watching and they'll be able to understand that mm -hmm. we also need to help each other. Because basically, you are 18. Mm -hmm. There are things you need to do so that your parents can see that yes. you have reached that goal. Can you say that your parents pushed you to that because of the design that you saw? Is there a design that your parents did that motivated you the most? Yeah, they did. They did motivate me because I will see some of their jobs. I'll see yeah. some of. Uh, I'll go with, especially my dad, to some of the sites. I'll see how he's working. Yeah. And every day we went with him on site. My desire and the zeal and the motive continued to grow day after day, day after day, and day after day. So they played a big role in my career. Majorly they based on construction. Yes, construction. But you, you wanted construction and design. Yes, I to wanted make... to design and construct houses. Because sometimes you find yeah. you'll design a house, but there is no right person to execute that particular structure. Yeah. So you actually, those are some of the challenges we used to encounter, or we still encounter. You design a house and the client will say they have their own person. Yeah. There are people who design, and there are people, when you give the drawings to their, some of their people, some of them do the drawings well, yeah. they execute the drawings well, while some of them do not execute the, the plans, the, the, the structures well. So in this process, I prefer helping my clients some of my clients, those who are willing mm. to execute the, the process of the construction. So because when I help them execute the process of construction, it comes out the way the drawing looks like. You see that photo for what you see versus what you expect. Yeah. So it becomes what you see, what you see, I mean what you see versus what you get. Yeah. So it becomes what you see is what you get, not what you see versus what you get. It's what you see and what you get. Mm. Yeah. Okay, mm. wow. So what you see is what you get. Yes in your company yes, that is yes, yes. and you have done uh there's a there's this building in Ruiru, yes the rainbow one yeah, yes um what basically inspired you to do their their design oh yeah we've done a club uh, an interior construction for Ruiru rainbow resort yeah so the the club is based underground oh. those of the people who've been there yeah it's on the basement okay so they wanted us to do for them a club. They approached and they wanted us to do for them a club. So we did for them interiors. Those of you who have been, we can share photos, you see it. We did a very nice club there. People go there, they chill, they enjoy, and they hang out. And especially people of Mogidi, people who like Mogidi, they oh, like yeah. there yeah. so much and they enjoy there so much. The space is well designed. Wow. Those people who have time, they can visit and see the place. Yeah, and you'll be able to see that building yes. because we are going to display it for you and show you exactly how it looks like and we know that you're going to enjoy. Yeah, you can go there, you can enjoy the view. It's not about drinking, mm -hmm. but just going there and enjoying his yes. work. You can we even drink water, those who don't, yeah. <laughs> those who don't drink alcohol. <laughs> yeah, you can drink juice. water or yes. juice, yeah. yeah. True. They have also cocktails, they have very nice cocktails there. Oh, they yeah. do like the mocktails, mocktails yes, and yes. they... Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. And wow. the services are very nice there. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so they'll mm -hmm. enjoy. I know you'll enjoy viewers mm -hmm. because we are going to display it for you. And let's take this commercial break. Hello guys, welcome back. And uh, yes, we are still joined by this amazing man who has been really good and he has done the best thing. He's an architect, a designer, and he has constructed great buildings like you saw earlier on our video. We, ha we showed you the house that he has built and we hope that you're going to go there. And as we continue, please tell us the company, the name of your company and what exactly you do. Uh, thank you very much, Diana. Our company is called Ridadi designers and contractors. We are located at a bypass, uh, Kiwazi House of Membley Road. So as I said earlier, we design and build houses. Mm -hmm. We a construction company that is aiming, we have goals and visions. Yeah. One of our goals is to help people 
see construction as an easy process because people have this assumption that construction is a very hard thing. Yeah. I I know I know one of the greatest achievement of every human being is housing. They want to have a house, they want to have a roof on top of their head. So one of the things we do is we try to encourage most of the clients and most of the people who come to our offices that it's easy to start constructing even with as little as you can. Yeah. Like now, for instance, there is a site I was yesterday for my friend. Right now the house is worth four million. It's a, it's a bungalow, it's already done. Yeah. But uh, he remembers the last time he had money, a lot of money was like 100,000. Because he used Akipata, Akipata Kidogo, when he gets something little, he, he, he buys cement. When he, bet, he gets another small little, he buys mchanga. And then another one, he buys mawe. So Akipata ingine, 30,000, he calls fundis and work go, goes on Kidogo. Yeah. So it's not that hard to start construction. You can start construction from, you just, you just need to have the goal and the vision. Yeah. And also have, the, have a blueprint, rather have a plan. If you have a plan, you will be knowing you are working towards something. Yeah. So you know that you are working, you, you want a bungalow. A bungalow is a house that does not have another floor on top. Mm -hmm. You want a bungalow, you come up with a plan, you engage us, we do for you a plan. Then we take it to the approval of the county, it gets approved. Then now you start constructing. You can even do it polo, 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 polo. If it's a mansion, it's the same thing. You give us your idea. Because one of our goals is to turning our clients' imaginations into reality or rather, bettering the ideas of our clients. Oh, okay. If a client brings an idea to us, they tell us they want a house, they want a, they, there's another client who was in our office the other day, they want, an off, they want a house, a mansion eight, that will have a swimming pool on top. Mm. So my goal is to help you achieve that. Yeah. You can have a house, a, a, a flat roof mansion eight, have a pool there and have some place you can relax there and get to enjoy your house. So. Our goal as Redaddy is to help our clients to achieve their ideas and to better the ideas of our client. So that's what we do. Wow, yeah. okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And you can basically tell us about the vision and the mission mm -hmm. where you're looking forward to do. Which great project do you have mm -hmm. and what are you working mm -hmm. on right now? Okay, yeah. so uh, our, vision, our vision is uh, helping as many clients as possible. Mm -hmm to have houses. You see, the government is doing affordable housing. Yeah. They have a vision of, uh, they have a mission of helping people have many houses. So even us, we want to help people have own their own houses. Yeah. And they don't have to have a lot of amount of money to build. They can start with the little they have. And slowly by slowly by slowly by slowly, they reach there. So, and uh, again, we also, as I said earlier, we are planning. One of our goals is to help our clients and turn their dreams, their imaginations into reality. So whatever you've imagined, if you, you imagined your house looking like a paradise, yeah. you bring that idea to us, we'll turn it into reality. If you imagined your house like, you imagined your house having a house that is a, a house that is built on containers, you bring that idea to us, we'll turn it into, into reality. Mm -hmm. If you imagine your house, if you, if you want to live like those people who used to live, Kitambo, those ones, they would have houses, the Manyat houses yeah, and some, yeah. some, some nini houses like that, we'll help that turn that into reality so that is uh, so you basically do everything like back way back the yes. houses that were way back yes. and i saw those tiny houses mm -hmm. in in the us mm -hmm. do you like feel like you'll bring such a program to mm -hmm. to the country because they just use like containers yes. and they build those tiny houses mm -hmm. and they look they have upstairs mm -hmm. they have even the basement yes. do you look like forward to doing all that yes actually there are people there are people we've done for several we'll try to share some photos okay the idea is in being embraced in kenya although it's been embraced slowly by slowly by yeah, slowly yeah. but in the u.s those ideas are very very much embraced Okay. Yeah. Um, we've also seen the challenges that people face, mm -hmm. especially in construction here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where do you exactly get your materials? Because there are those houses that maybe are being told to be demolished mm -hmm. because they do not have the expectation that the government needs. Mm -hmm. But your houses are doing well, mm -hmm. they are standing, mm -hmm. they are taller, mm -hmm. they are taller buildings that you've done. Mm -hmm. So what exactly would you tell someone who wants to get the materials and they are also in the business of construction and design? Uh, what I'll tell people is, uh, okay, one of the reasons that makes buildings fall yeah. is uh, the foundationing of the building. Mm. So there are areas that, uh, the areas that are destined for tall buildings, depending mm. on how the rock looks like. Okay. That's why it's, in, it's always important to have a topography report from the engineer. That one helps you to, it helps you to affirm whether wherever you are to construct, the building is fit to stand there, 
yeah. stand there. Yeah. So, but uh, to my fellow fellow cons constructors, my fellow colleagues who are in the, the same industry, yeah. I'd advise them to look for, there is a test, there is a, there is a test that is done for good material. Mm. So if you have a good profession, of course they must be knowing how to test for a good quality of material. Mm -hmm. So I'd, I'd, I'd advise them to choose the best materials for their clients and uh, from the best places of their client. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, that's exactly that. So basically the client will help you so that you can be able to get the materials or you're the one who is going we to... We are the ones who to help the client. Oh, the client in most them. cases the client does not understand the right material. Okay. We as the professionals understand the right materials that could do well at a certain area. But maybe you've worked with people who do they sell the materials mm -hmm. and they know the mm -hmm. best materials yes. so they can even chip in yes. and bring the materials to you but then you do the construction. Yes, 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 yes. Have you worked with companies that have the materials already? Yes, yes, yes. yes. There, are, there are several companies that have those materials. Yeah. Cement, sand, uh, the suppliers of sand, suppliers of stone, suppliers of finishing, size and everything. Those names are quite many, they are quite many. Do you stick to like one company or maybe you can try other companies? We stick to the right product. Oh, to the right product, yes. not to the company. Yes. Okay, mm. that's nice. So yeah, also I wanted to understand mm. um, what is the process of construction design? Did you like feel like the design is way better mm. than the construction because the construction is just a building but the designs mm. now come to fit in and make the building look the way that person the the partner that you're doing for want it to be like the mm. process basically the the legal procedures you have to follow everything mm. to be able to bring that building to stand uh, that's that's quite a good question mm. now some one of the processes of construction is uh, understanding the client's idea mm. So you understand, it's called a client brief. The client briefs you whatever spaces he wants. I want a house with these bedrooms, I want a house with this wash. From the working drawings, you, 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 you produce blueprints mm -hmm. that are submitted to the county government. Oh. Actually, they require, most counties require like around five copies blueprints. If it's a bungalow, a bungalow is a house that does not have a slab. If it's a bungalow, it does not require a structural report. But if it's a mansionette, any house that is going upwards that has a slab, it requires something called a structural report. So for instance, let's say we are doing a mansionette. We will do something called the architectural drawings, forward them to the county government, they'll get approved. Then you'll do another one called a structural drawing that is done by the engineer mm -hmm. to confirm the strength of the building. Then you submit both drawings to the county and you get a construction permit from, from there, from the county. Now the other processes like uh, NCA, from the NCA you do a BOQ, then you do the NCA application. But, that, but those ones you can be helped by your professional in most cases. Now from the major approval is the one from the county government. When you have this approval from the county government, you could start your construction anytime, any day. Mm. Yes. Wow. Um, there are challenges for so many constructors mm -hmm. out here. Mm -hmm. Could you say that you've also faced most challenges and how you've been able to fix them? Uh, yeah, we have faced challenges. Mm -hmm. Some of the challenges, one of the challenges we face is in, the, is in the drawing stage because sometimes you submit drawings to the county and they delay than the expected time. Mm -hmm. So you, maybe you s submit and drawings to the county, you have to have them uh, in two weeks time, you're told to have them in one month after two months. You see that one is a big challenge. Yeah, it is. yeah the other challenge is uh, you meet Clients who are cheeky, they don't, they, 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 you work for them, you, you, before they pay, you pull, pull each other. But anyway, every industry has challenges, including your work. I'm sure your work too has yeah, challenges. Yeah, it does. Yes. Is there like um, a duration uh -huh. that you are given by a client uh -huh. or you give yourself uh -huh. for a house to be complete and uh -huh. fully furnished uh -huh. with the designs and everything? Yeah, according to the measurements and the size and the requirements of the client, we can be able to tell we will be done with your project up to this time. We'll deliver your project up to this time. Yeah. And by that time you'll be you'll have Of course have we must have it. we must have it. Are Not unless something comes up. Yeah. And if something comes up we must communicate to the client. Oh okay. Yeah. And there are there like stages. Mm -hmm. Today you have to do this, tomorrow you'll do this. Yeah, there must be stages. There are stages today we are doing uh, excavation, we are doing backfilling, we are doing walling, we are doing slabbing, we are doing walling, we are doing roofing, plastering, piping, all those stages. There are stages that So this is like every day. Yeah. Or maybe even if you're done for today, mm -hmm. you can continue or you have to wait for the following day to be able to do that. 
uh, after you've uh, done every day, every day, wh wherever you are yesterday is not where you are today, yeah. and today it will not be there tomorrow. So there are quite a few stages that are involved there. Okay, and the design, where do you like get the designs? Yeah, most of the designs we get them from uh, a process called con conceptualizing. Conceptualizing is getting a concept, understanding your client's mind. Mm -hmm. When you understand your client's mind, because a client will tell you, I want a design, I want a kitchen that is next to the dining mm -hmm. and the living room. Yeah. So you have to come up with a design that meets the requirements of the client. Another client will tell you, I want a living room and, and the, the living room should be far from the dining, but the dining to be close to the kitchen. Yeah. So you have to come up with a design that meets your client. Mm -hmm. So we conceptualize most of the designs. We get, our, we get most of the client's designs from this process called conceptualizing. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, we've also seen some buildings mm -hmm. being constructed. Mm -hmm. You said you follow legal procedures yes, in yes. order for a building to be constructed. Yes. But here in Kenya, mm -hmm. we've, con we've occurred buildings mm -hmm. that are, are being built. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. after the building is done, mm -hmm. they are told that, no, mm -hmm. this is not a building for mm -hmm. resident mm -hmm. and it should, be, it should not even be here. Mm -hmm. what, what really happens? Uh, in most cases, it's shortcuts because if you engage the right uh, authorities, yeah. like the county and the national construction authority and the NEMA, it will save you from this, from these hassles of being told to demolish a house. Yeah. Because what, what most clients do, they bypass the project. They see, I don't have to pay all this money for a piece of paper called the approval drawings. I can do this and this and this with my fundi. But now when they finish constructing the fundis, they get the, the, the authorities on their neck. Mm -hmm. So how you can save yourself from that is just through engaging the right, engaging the right authorities. Yeah, okay. Because yeah, yeah. we've seen that problem and you you just feel like, hey, they waited for the building to just be constructed mm -hmm. and then they say that it's not. There's also a building in Gong, mm -hmm. that's where I stay. Mm -hmm. The building, it was bending, mm -hmm. but when it was being constructed, mm -hmm. you could see that this building is not bending, mm -hmm. but <laughs> statistics came and they said, no, this building is bending, it cannot be, it should mm -hmm. de be demolished. Mm -hmm. So those are the challenges that we feel you've not faced yourself because you follow the right procedures yeah, sure. and we appreciate you for that because at least you're advising someone out there to mm -hmm. be able to follow the right mm -hmm. procedures. Mm -hmm. And we would also want to hear from you because you're one among the best designer mm -hmm. and constructor. Mm -hmm. What would you tell someone out there mm -hmm. who, who wants to do your course and want to be where you are right now? Uh, thank you very much. So what I'll tell anyone who wants to take our line of uh, duty, I'll tell them to just take it. Yeah. Just don't give up. It's not easy. I mean, it's not hard. Just, 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 uh, just keep on working. Keep on grinding. Try to look for the best place to study, and also try to be very, 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 very observant, yeah. observative, especially on site. Try to visit sites. Try to learn, and you'll get there slowly by slowly. Okay. Yeah. We've not touched on your marketing mm -hmm. and how you market your company, mm -hmm. your, pro your, your constructions, mm -hmm. your buildings, mm -hmm. and where to get you. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, in most cases, in most, cases mm -hmm. most of our clients, we get them from referrals. Yeah. But however, we also have a marketing department that deals with engaging with clients, communicating with clients. Yeah. Sometimes you tell a client, I'll, I'll deliver work tomorrow by 4 p.m. But then something comes up. So you cannot be able to deliver work by 4 p.m. Yeah. You deliver it by like around in the next following day. So the, we have a team that communicates, tells clients this way and this way. We communicate also to our clients through social media. And uh, we actually came with one of our marketers called Mail. Karibu sana. Asante. We've heard a lot from your CEO mm -hmm. and uh, we are so glad. So start off by telling us your name. So my name is Melody Mole and I'm the social media marketer or manager for Redaddy Designers and Contractors. Wow. So tell us, why Ridadi? So why Ridadi? So Ridadi stood out for me because of its innovative approach to construction, um, its commitment to quality, and also it has a reputation of exceeding the client's expectations. Wow. That's yes. nice. Can you tell us more of your marketing part? Why did you choose the, to, to manage their social media and do everything for their marketing, for, for them to be known out there? Because that's your work. And 
it seems you're doing a great job. Actually, you're doing a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Because the construction there, they are beautiful and all that. But with your marketing, mm -hmm. they, are, they are known out there. So tell us, why did you choose to do their marketing? So I majorly do social media marketing. Yeah. Um, social media marketing is a powerful platform that um, offers us a platform to showcase our projects mm -hmm. and also to engage with our audience and also to build our brand identity. And also on top of um, social media marketing, we also utilize um, email marketing and website optimization. Yeah. And we also partner or collaborate with people in the industry so that we can meet um, the needs and expectations of our target audience. Wow. Are there like challenges that you faced doing marketing and how you solved them? Sure. Um, I believe in every, every, every work has challenges. Yeah, true. Um, in marketing, there are challenges like uh, difficult clients. Yeah. There are some that are really <laughs> difficult to deal with. Yeah. But then um, in marketing, you have to listen. You have to listen to the client and uh, be sure when you listen to the client and just try to execute what they want then you're gonna be good to go so it's just like they're saying that the the client is always right you're right <laughs> <laughs> okay so please tell us the your social handles mm -hmm. and where people can find Redadi. all right so you can find us on all social media platforms you can find us on tiktok Redaddy dot designers. You can find us on Instagram, Redaddy Designers and Contractors. You can find us on Facebook, Redaddy Designers and Contractors. And we also have a LinkedIn, yeah. um, Redaddy Designers and Contractors. And we have a website, wow. Redaddy Designers and Contractors. Everywhere, Redaddy. <laughs> Everywhere, Redaddy. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for coming. We hope to see you next time for another yeah. segment where you'll be able to explain to us all about your career because it's a wide career sure. and you've done a good job thank you as a young lady you've done your best thank you're you. still going on mm -hmm. and we love your work you're representing us and today being a women's day we wish you a happy oh. women's day <laughs> thank you happy women's day to you as well <laughs> thank you so much and yes viewers has been it for us here at Ivan tv we hope that you learned you enjoyed and you are entertained bye for us my name is diana Mavani.